Hi. On the next episode of DevOps Lab, Sean walks us through how you can visually track your work items from commit all the way till production. Hi, welcome to the DevOps Lab. Today we have a very special guest, Sean Ferguson. How's it going, Sean? It's going great. Super excited to be here. Hey, man. Earlier you told me you guys now have the ability to track work items and be able to show me like which stage it's been deployed to? Yes. Yes. Customers have been asking for this forever. I am so excited to see this. Yeah, we're super excited too. We've been working on it for a while. We've yeah. been really happy with what we, we came up with. Yeah. And it's definitely something that we have been asking for ourselves for a very long time. So, cool, cool, cool. Let's yeah, see very this. Very excited. All right, so we have, I have a work item here. Okay. It's a very important one. It's fixed the spelling on the readme. We okay. can't you know, have any, anything shipped to production with a typo. Right. Um, and you can see on the right, there's this deployment control. Okay. Um, right now, there's nothing actually linked to it. So it has um, kind of like a little helpful info saying how you go and configure it, okay. um, which we're about to segue right into. So okay. to configure the control, um, we have a pipeline. Okay. I happen to have a pipeline with multiple stages. Okay. I go to edit it. And under Options, and then Integrations, there's this checkbox now that says Preview Report Deployment Status to Boards. Ah, so this okay. is a new setting that you can enable to yep. then go and configure that integration. Okay. And so for every one of your stages, you can say what kind of deployment this is. I see. Um, so we can here for development, it would be development, um, testing, and staging. And so this is a fixed set. Okay. Um, because that's kind of convention, like you're shipping something to production, testing, like those are words that people generally just use. Okay, fair um, enough. So, so to fix that, I can't yes. give my own custom names, but I really don't need to. No. This, this is great. Okay. So that's it. So I've now configured it. I'll hit save. Well, that's pretty easy. Yeah, super easy to enable it. Okay. Yeah, and we've been using it for us already. Yeah. It's so great. Um, so it's enabled, it's saved. So I'll go back just so we can watch the pipeline. And so now I will go fix that very important spelling. As you can see, I spelled introduction wrong. <laughs> right. Um, I'll spell it correctly. And in this commit, I will then link it to the work item that I had open. Sure. Fix spelling on the README. OK. So by linking this commit, mm -hmm. um, it's going to go kick off a build. Sure. And then that build, when it's done, will then kick off my release pipeline. Mm -hmm. um, and so now then by doing this, the work item itself is already linked to the commit. That's right. So if I go back to the work item, and if I refresh it, we should see there, yeah, it's already got the link to the commit. And now the re release should be kicked off. Okay. If we go watch, we should see it. Okay. Yep. So it kicked off. It just there hit the go. first stage. Yep. And it's set to auto go to multiple stages. So it should hit development, testing, and staging. Okay. And then it will pause. Okay. Um, so now it's running off to staging. But so if we go back to the work item, we reload it. We should see mm -hmm. when the page reloads again. Yes. Ah, yes. there we so go. Now we can see it's in testing. Yes, it's both in testing and development. And in development. Um, and so you can see, you can open it up. You can see which release it actually went out with. Um, and then you can tell by the same number four, it was actually the same train that it went through. Yeah. Um, and if we had multiple, you would see multiple. So if this work item had to go to, if you had multiple testing environments, mm -hmm. it would all show up here. Yeah. Uh, it's super sweet. And of course, these are all deep links too. So if I click on it, it will take me to my release pipeline and things like that as well. Yeah. 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 And so now this has the timing on it. So like that says, you know, just now on those. Yeah. I can go back to the pipeline. Okay. And I can do my approval yeah. of the last two that we're waiting. Because, you know, production, you don't want to just immediately go to production with your commit without, you know, <laughs> some validation. Right. Um, we validate it, so that's approved. Prove it. It'll go out. Same for this one. So then it's going to now flow into my production in the US and into the EU. Yep. And so now we can go back here. And so those will now show up here. That um, is really, really cool. Like I said, this is exactly what people have been asking for forever. Yeah. So we have important releases under production. So that went to two environments. Correct. But you see, yes. we have production US. And once that production EU goes through, it should also show up there. Very, very cool. Yep, so we have to, and there it tells you the last place it went. Yep. And if any of those had failed, um, you have a, a, a failure notification there, so mm -hmm. you can see quickly 
is it deployed successfully or, or not? This is fantastic, because now from Azure boards, I'm able to just pull up my work item and see which stage it's actually been deployed to. Yeah, no more asking, oh, where'd this go? Digging around, figuring out which release it was yeah, tied to. Yeah, because I remember I used to be able to figure that out, but there was quite a bit of clicking I had to do, and, and it was a little convoluted. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is, and this was like our day to day of, oh, did this, especially for hot fixes, right? Sure. You want to make sure that it get out because we have so many rings when to deploy to. Yeah. Um, and now it's just like, boop, go look, this is done. It's Man, great. that is awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. Oh, you're really welcome. Really cool stuff. All right, viewers, those of you that are using Azure DevOps and Azure boards, and those that aren't, go try it out, right? Go try it out, create an account, play with the work items, and let's see where our work items are at. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.